This morning, I entitled our devotion, God Cares for You. Do you believe that? Can you write it down? God cares for me. He cares for you. And of course, our uh, verse is very familiar sa inyo. In 1 Peter chapter 5, uh, we're going to start it in verse 6 up to 7. Sabi po ni Pedro, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside self-righteous pride so that He may exalt you to a place of honor in His service at the appropriate time. Sinabi po rito that we're gonna humble ourselves. How to humble ourselves before the Lord? You know what? Every time we come to God in prayer, we are humbling ourselves because we are uh, showing to God, ipinapakita natin sa Diyos, na hindi po natin kayang resolbahin ang ating pong sitwasyon kung wala siya. Every time we come to God in prayer, we are acknowledging that He is our strength. We are acknowledging that He is our wisdom. We are acknowledging that He is the one to give solution to our situation, to any problem that we are facing. Every time we come to God in prayer, we are recognizing that He is the supreme being na siyang magbibigay o sa Kanya lamang matatagpuan ang anuman tulong natin. At hindi po natin uh, itinataas ang ating pong sariling katwiran, sariling kakayahan, sariling kakayaha, uh, ka, you know, karunungan. So, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. At ang tayo po ay nag-humble as we come humbling down, as we humbling down ourselves no, before the Lord, actually those who are humble will receive the grace of God. Ang sino mang pong nagpapakababa ay matatanggap ang biyaya ng Diyos. And you know what's this grace? It is the undeserved, unearned favor of God and even the power of God the mighty hands of God, the awesomeness of God, the greatness of God will come to you. Ating pong mararanasan ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos if we come to God in humility. Dependent on Him. We are not dependent to ourselves. Kaya po yung mga nagpe-pray, you know, when we are praying, we are declaring and showing to God that we are dependent on His strength We are dependent on what He can do to us. Verse 7 says, Casting all your cares, casting all your anxieties, casting all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on Him. For He cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Wow, I love that. The Lord is watching over you very carefully with deepest affection na merong pagmamahal, merong pag-iingat. Ganyan po ang ating Panginoon. He is personally watching you over. Alam po ninyo, sa dami po ng ating pong pamilya, sa dami po ng ating pong mga kamag-anakan at mga mahal sa buhay, kahit gaano po karami tayong kaibigan ano when we go through difficult time or trial many a time we still feel all alone and that no one really cares or understand nakaranas na po ba kayo ngayon ng ganon kahit meron tayong mga anak meron tayong pamilya meron tayong marami tayong kaibigan marami tayong kakilala Pero dumarating pa rin yung oras na parang nag-iisa tayo at kailangan natin ng tulong, no? Parang walang nakakaintindi sa atin. Parang parang everybody left you and you are all alone. And because of that, parang wala kang ibang malalapitan at dito ngayon bumibigat ang ating pakiramdam. Nagkakaroon tayo ng self-pity, nagkakaroon tayo ng pagkaawa sa sarili. 
Alam nyo, meron po mga nangyayari po sa Bible. Katulad po ni Martha, no? Martha knew that feeling. She had, on one occasion, lumapit siya sa Panginoong Isus at sabi niya, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Pinabayaan ako ng aking kapatid. Wala ka bang pakialam, Lord? Hindi ba kayo naawa sa akin? Hindi nyo ba alam kung kaano kahirap tong sitwasyon ko? Ayan. So para bang si, Mar si Marta po ay naranasan po niya na para bang iniwan siya. No? At uh, walang pakialam ang tao sa kanyang dinaranas na, you know, nahihirapan siya sa kusina. Ganon din yung mga alagad, no? In uh, Mark chapter 4, nung sila po ay uh, papatawid pang, sa ano sa uh, dagat, no? The disciples knew, also knew what it was like to feel small, alone and in trouble. Kaya lumapit sila sa Panginoon ulit. Sabi niya, Lord, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Wala ka bang pakialam? Tayo po ay lulubog na. Mapapahamak na tayo. Nung sila po ay uh, binabayo ng uh, balakas na hangin at uh, ulan, no? Doon po sa uh, karagatan. Mga kapatid, maybe the cry of your hearts is also, Lord, do you not care that I am left all alone? That I'm going under this pressure, this problem, this situation, this difficulty right now? Do you not care that I am perishing? Maring marami po tayong mga katanungan ganyan sa ngayon na para bang, Lord, bakit po ako nagkaganito? Bakit ganito ang nangyari sa akin? Naging tapat naman ako sa iyo. Totoo naman yung puso kong naglilingkod sa iyo. Katulad ni Marta. At ang mga alagad. Actually, ang mga alagad kasama nga nila ang Panginoon. Eh. Pero they, they feel like they are alone. Pinabayaan ng Panginoon. Kapatid, the Lord does care for you. He cares for you. He loves you so much and that He wants you to cast all your cares upon Him. The Lord wants you to cast your cares upon Him. Not just some, but all of your cares. He wants both your big and small cares. There's nothing too small or big for Him. If it is a care in your heart, He wants you to cast it upon Him. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon. You know, Pour out all your worries and stress upon Him and leave them there. For He always tenderly cares for you. The Lord tenderly cares for you. Paano po natin gagawin ito, mga kapatid? Alam nyo, every time na sumasagi sa isipan po natin and we are loaded in our mind and even in our emotion with heaviness, like, Ang dami-dami na nating mga negatibong naiisip. Kasi if you are loaded with heaviness and you feel all alone, na parang pinabayaan ka ng lahat, ang dami nating naiisip na negatibo. Na sometimes, sumasakay po ang kaaway doon po sa mga negatibo nating iniisip. Na para bang, sige na, gawin mo na yan. Bahala na. Para masaktan mo sila. Actually, minsan, nakakapag-isip tayo ng isang bagay na aksyon Para saktan ang sino man na nanakit sa atin. Ang sino mang may kagagawan kung bakit ka nagkakaganyan. So, nagiging ano tayo, nagiging rebellious yung damdamin at nagkakaroon tayo ng negatibong kaisipan. No? You know, when you feel heaviness and you feel like you are in a negative situation, kapag naramdaman mo na dumarating po yung mga negatibong kaisipan, pag-aalala, takot, o ano man pong mga negative emotion na dumarating sa atin, that is the signal 
that you come to God in prayer. That is the signal that you have to cast that load. You have to cast that, that worriness, that anxiety, the problems, that heaviness in your heart into the Lord. So paano po ito gagawin? That's the time to pray to God. Hallelujah. That's the moment that you have to tune in your mind to the Lord. Every time na meron pong negatibong dumarating sa isipan po natin because the battle, no, ang battle po natin ay nasa isipan. Dumarating sa isipan natin yung mga negatibong kaisipan, lalong-lalo na kapag nakikita natin yung sitwasyon. Nakikita po natin, nararamdaman po natin yung pain. <clears throat> nakikita na po natin na wala tayong supply. So we are wor worrying. We are worrying. Parang hindi totoo ang pangako ng Diyos nasaan kailangan ko. So ang dami nating mga katanukan. Kapatid, kapag nakita mo ang lahat ng iyan, that's the time. Kasi kapag nakita mo mga yan, bumibigat ang ayong pakiramdam, bumibigat ang dibdib mo, oh, humihirap yung paghinga mo dahil yung mga load na yan ay dinadala mo. So that's the time that you have to put it out to the Lord. Cast it out to the Lord. So how to do this? That's the time for you to come to God. Maybe sa, sa sobra pong ano, uh, bigat na nang iyong nararamdaman, you can cry it out. You can cry it out. Kung hindi ka makapag-worship, makapag no? you can cry it out. Cry it out. Kahit wala kang sasabihin, Just cry it out before the Lord. Hindi yung iyak na naaawa sa sarili, kundi yung iyak na binibigay mo kay Lord ang iyong alalahanin. Ibinibigay mo kay Lord ang mga difficulties na to. At ibinibigay mo sa Diyos ang pagtitiwala. That is the cry. And God understand your cry, my friend. God understand your cry. You can cry it out, Lord. Kahit Lord lang. Lord! And then you cry. Alam mo ninyo, anumang bigat sa dibdib mo, anumang bigat sa puso mo, kapag ito po'y naikast mo na kay Lord, kumagaan ng pakiramdam. And you know what? The peace of the Lord will come unto you. If the peace of God comes unto you, that's the sign that the Lord says to you, Don't worry my child, don't worry my son. Answered prayer ka na. There is a solution coming to you now. At doon ka na ngayon magsisimula na magpuri sa Panginoon. Kaya kapag dumarating po yung mga bigat sa isipan mo, nakakapag-isip ka na ng negatibo dahil po dahil sa mga meditation mo sa bagay na yon. So that's the time that you have to you have to uh Sing a song to God. Cry it out to God. Pag nagtatangs po kayo, you better uh, speak in tongues. Because when you're speaking in tongues, the Bible says, you are edifying yourself. You are strengthening your faith. No? Napapatatag ang pananampalataya. And the Spirit of the Lord praying through you. There is an intercession of tongues. And even singing in tongues. Hallelujah. You have to do it. Simulan mo na magpuri sa Panginoon. Nagkakaroon ka ng worries, nagkakaroon ka ng uh, uh, pag-aalala sa dami ng bayarin. Oh Father, thank you that you are my shepherd. You never left me, Lord. And surely I will dwell in the house of the Lord because favor, mercy, and grace will follow me all the days of my life. The Lord will prepare a table before me full of foods, full of provision in the presence of my enemies. You can speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Friend, load upon him your every anxiety for he is always watching you with tender care. The Lord is watching you with tender care. Pakisulat nga po ninyo dyan. God is always watching me with tender care. 
God is always watching me with tender care. You have to declare that. As I've been in Psalms chapter 55, verse 22, Leave all your cares and anxieties at the feet of the Lord. And measureless grace will strengthen you. Wow. When you leave your cares and anxieties at the feet of the Lord, measureless, hindi kayang sukatin na biyaya ng Panginoon, ay palalakasing ka. Measureless grace will strengthen you. Psalms 55 verse 22. I love that. Kaya nga po, how to cast? Once again, how to cast? Go in prayer. Go in prayer. Hallelujah. Hayaan natin na labanan, no? labanan mo ang negatibo sa kaisipan mo sa pamamagitan ng pagpapahayag ng mga pangako ng Diyos. Instead of meditating all those problems and entertaining the negative thoughts na sinasakyan ng demonyo na kapag ito pinatulan mo, lalong magiging dilubyo ang buhay. Sira ang buhay. Then, you better go to the Word of God because God, God's Word, God's promises will bring life unto you. Kapatid, when we pray, we must believe that God is God. Everyone who come to God must believe that God is God. Ano ibig sabihin ng God is God? When we say God is God, you must know that your God is the Almighty God. Not just a mighty God, but Almighty. Lahat ng kapangyarihan ay nasa Kanya. He is the God who created everything na nakikita mo, He is the God no other we can compare to Him. And He is the God that nothing is impossible with Him. He is the God that nothing is too hard for Him to do. You must believe that He is the God who can provide for your needs. Kaya, if you come to God in prayer, you must believe that He is God. As I po ng Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, Without faith, living within us, it would be impossible to please God. So ano po ibig sabihin yung pananampalataya? Meron kang pananiwala na ang Diyos ay kaya niyang resolbahin ang problema mo. At kapag ikaw ay naniniwala that God is God, and He is able to solve every problem, and He is the solution of every problem, if you believe on that, then you're gonna praise Him. You're gonna give thanks to, to Him. Instead of meditating the problem, you're meditating His promises. Instead of meditating all those worries na nagbibigay ng kabigatan sa'yo at kalungkutan sa'yo, you are praising Him. He is my God, nothing is impossible with Him. He is my God, nothing is too hard for Him to do. He is my God, the provider, and He is my shield. Ano mang ipinangako niya, ay gagawin niya. He is my God, na ano mang pinangako niya, hindi siya katulad ng tao na hindi niya tutuparin ang ano mang pinangako. But the God who promised whatever He says, He will do. And whatever He promises, He will fulfill it. That is my God. You have to declare it. Hallelujah. And sing a song to God. Dance in the Lord. And I tell you, all your worries will go away. Pag na-filled ka na ngayon ng kagalakan, na puno ka ngayon ng kagalakan, I tell you, your life will never be the same again. Your life will be filled with joy. And if you are filled with joy, you are now a positive thinker. You can know that God is doing something good, something great. You have a very good tomorrow. Okay? We come to God in faith, knowing that He is a real and that He rewards the faith of those who passionately seek Him. Sa other version in NLT, it is impossible to please God without faith. Kaya po, have faith when you come to God. At nalulugod ang Diyos sa merong pananampalataya. At kapag ikaw ay merong pananampalatayang lumalabid sa Diyos, anyone who wants to come to Him must believe that God exists 
that He is a real God, that He is a true God, that He is the creator of all things, and that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. The Lord will reward you. Kapatid, when the Apostle Peter wrote, Casting all your care upon Him, he was talking about the continuous act of casting all your cares upon the Lord. Continuous po yan. Huwag po kayong mag i ng worries sa ating puso. Don't stack up worries in your mind, in your heart, in your, in your emotion. Nagbibigay yan ng kabigatan. As a care comes, God wants you to cast it to Him. That is the lifestyle He wants you to adapt. Alam niyo kung bakit? Because the verse gives us the reason He cares for you. He cares for you. You are casting all your cares upon the one who loves you, my friend. And who left all of heaven to come and die for you. Kanino ba natin ibinibigay yung ating pong alalahanin? Siya na nagbigay ng kanyang buhay sa atin. Siya na nang iwan ng kalangitan, pumarito sa lupa upang mamatay sa iyo. Para sa iyong kasalanan at upang ikaw ay maging pamilya niya. That is who you are, casting you cares to. It is not just any person, but it is the one who gave his life for you. Yan po ang pinagbibigyan natin ng ating uh, kabigatan. So when, you, when you're going through a difficult time, God wants you to believe that you are never alone because He Himself has said that He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Hallelujah. God wants you to believe that you are never alone. Hallelujah. Pakisulat nga po ninyo yan, I believe I will never alone because God said He will never leave me nor forsake me. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, as the object of His care, we are the object of, this, of His care, you are the object of God's care, He will take care of you, my friend, for the rest of your life. God will take care of you for the rest of your life. You are never alone and always cared for. You have to believe that the Lord is caring for you. Kaya napakasarap po na ang ating pong uh, room kung saan po tayo nananalangin, the place where we met God every day, no? and there we pray, that is our comforting place. That is the place where we find comfort. Yan yung place kung saan tayo umiiyak sa Lord, kung saan po tayo kumakain ng kanyang salita, kung saan tayo humuhugot ng kalakasan para mabuhay sa mundong ito. Alam mo ninyo, mga kapatid, in closing, in this world, we are in a journey. God dwells in us. The Bible says, He dwells in you. Why He dwells in you? so that you might know that He is not far from you. Hindi po siya malayo sa iyo. You can talk to Him anytime. Actually, even your thinking, God knows it. Kaya minsan, even your prayer is just in your thinking, the Lord knows it. At nais ng Diyos na maging dependent po tayo sa Kanya. Nais ng Panginoon na lahat ng ating gagawin is we are dependent on Him. Oh, I tell you, when you exercise this lifestyle, hayaan natin ang ating isipan ay patuloy na sumangguni sa ating espiritu kung saan nandudoon nakatira ang Diyos sa atin. Patuloy nating isangguni sa Diyos. Always go to His Word. Go to God in prayer. Worship Him. Find His peace. In everything you do, and I tell you, He will direct you into a right path. The Bible says, God's word is light unto us. Kaya, ano man pong ating dinaraanan, 
na madilim, magbibigay po ng liwanag ang salita ng Panginoon. So you have to know today that there is someone caring for you so dearly. You are never alone. You are always cared for. Hallelujah. Pagisulat nga po ninyo for the last time. I am never alone. I never walk alone. I am always cared for. The Lord is caring for you. You are never alone because God Himself has said that He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Glory to God. Father God, thank you so much for reminding us today that you are always with us, caring for us, O God. And you want us, Lord God, to cast every difficulties and heaviness of our heart unto you. Because you designed us, O God, not to carry heaviness, but to carry your love, to carry your peace, and to carry your joy. Instead of carrying those heaviness, anxieties, negative emotions, problems, or anything that we are thinking, Panginoon, na nagpibigat sa amin, ayaw mo na maturuan kami, Panginoon, na ang aming dadalhin ay ang iyong salita, ang pangako mo, ang kagalakan mo, ang kapayapaan mo. At ito po, Panginoon, ang tunay na buhay na nais mo upang kami makapamuhay ng isang buhay na ganap at kasiyasiya na siyang binayaran ng Panginoong Yesus doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Thank you for providing all our needs, Sir God. I declare to everyone God's provision to all of you. And the Lord will continually reveal Himself to you and you can see Him smiling at you welcoming you into His throne of grace. It is not a throne of rejection. It is not a throne of condemnation. It is not a throne of judgment. But it is a throne of acceptance. And it is a throne that the Lord is so pleasing and delighted to welcome you. And there you find grace. You find favor. You find love and blessing more than you can ever think of. Father God, thank you for blessing your people in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much everyone. Kung kayo po'y bago sa uh, programang ito, if you want to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, just say this prayer. Father God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending your son Jesus Christ to die at the cross for my sin. I believe in you, Lord Jesus. I receive you right now. As my Lord and Savior, you are my King. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sin. And thank you for the gift of righteousness. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. I have it now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you prayed that simple prayer, then congratulations. You now belong to the family of God. At patuloy po kayo na uh, makinig ng mga salitang nagpapahayag kung sino ka kay Kristo. Magpapahayag kung gaano ka kamahal ng Diyos at magpapahayag mga nangangaral kung gaano o kung ano ang iyong standing sa mata ng Diyos sa harapan ng Diyos dahil ikaw ay nakipag-isa na kay Kristo. You must know your identity in Christ right now. And now that you are in Christ, you are belong to the family of God. The Lord loves you so dearly. Hallelujah. Thank you so much everyone.